Hello everybody watching at home, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today we're going to be talking about misleading and uh, how white lies can often be more heartbreaking than the painful truth. Now, we all know it feels good to make people feel good. That much we can agree on. You know, it's nice to pay a compliment here, to embellish somebody, you know, exaggerate their good qualities and just make them feel good, to reassure them positively of things. And it makes us feel good gives us those nice warm fuzzies inside when we make someone else feel good about themselves. But there is a point and there is a line that one it should be careful not to cross even in in doing this and making someone feel good and and paying adulations, you know, telling them things just to make them feel a certain way even if it isn't necessarily the truth. And you know, like false compliments. So a lot of people can relate to this, I'm sure. The frustration and the heartbreak one feels when you have genuine feelings for somebody and a genuine attraction and this certain somebody says things to you and does things to you and sends you all sorts of signals that suggest that they, you know, are very interested in you, that they dig you, that they love your personality, that they want to explore more with you and not just keep your relationship confined to what it already is already and basically they're letting you know that they're interested and then eventually you know they end up whether it be you know turns out they're not interested or turns out you know they end up hooking up with somebody else and you're just like ouch like what the hell like that person was you know, every time that I sent them a signal and every time I let them know how I felt they reciprocated it and they assured me that they pretty much felt the same and they kept playing ball with me and now they've taken their ball and they've ran off and they're playing with someone else and left me in the dark what the hell we can all relate to that we can all relate to being misled all right it's being sent signals and seeing somebody talk and say certain things when it doesn't really align with their walk and their actions and we end up finding out the hard way that the idea they were portraying about their feelings for us or whatever wasn't actually the truth and didn't line up with the reality and that's the point that I'm making just with a small food for thought is that even though it's nice to make people feel good and it's okay to tell a white lie when somebody says you know does this dress make me look fat you might say oh no you look great or you might say well it's not bad you don't look fat but you could probably find better that's probably a more like a nice honest approach but um but you know there is a point when when it's somebody, somebody's feelings on the line and they're relying on you to be clear and direct with them with your communication and to be honest with them and if it's their feelings on the line and, they, and it's something more at stake like their heart at stake and they're investing hopes and building hopes on you then it might actually be cruel to feed them these little bits and pieces of hope to feed them this dialogue and these assurances that you're interested in ways and that you're feeling certain ways that you actually aren't and that you actually aren't ready to back up you know that can end up being more painful when you build somebody up just to end up bringing them down or send them falling hitting the cold hard unforgiving ground of reality so that's today's food for thought sometimes a white lie is okay and assurances and a bit of embellishment and making someone feel good and building them up is fine but don't build them too far up if you're not actually willing to support them. Because it hurts when we fall. It hurts. And that, I think, deserves a bit more consideration. It's a little bit more important than telling a white lie just to make us feel good. It can actually end up hurting us more when you avoid being telling the hard, bitter truths. The end outcome isn't always that much sweeter. Thanks.